Yo, what's up, bro? Doing some exploring by myself. Trying to find a place to get a haircut. And then trying to find this place on Google Maps and then I went to where it was and it moved. So I've just spent like the last five minutes like walking around and just asking people like, haircut, haircut. <laughs> uh, I think we're in the right place now. There's no one in there. Sadika. Go inside though. We're here. Yeah, everyone's so nice here. Vlog. It's in it, yeah. <laughs> We're on um, day four. We landed on Monday, it's Thursday right now. And uh, it's been sick so far. I'm gonna show you the view when I go back home. But the, the villa we're staying in is paying, the view is paying. There's so much like green, like wildlife and everything. It's so amazing, man. And um, just trying to get this all cleaned up so I can start recording some videos. We've got some exciting news as well because the channel's taking another turn and I'm like so, so excited for it. Like the, the changes we're making, it's just, it's gonna, you know, before, I made a video for like the updated channel saying that you're gonna hate it because we're going more into like hyper stimulants and we want sorry <laughs> car all right let's start with my haircut yeah sorry how long you work here uh about three yeah three years it's okay sorry. it's okay yeah. thank you So this is going to be a surprise because I didn't give any instructions, but we'll see. So far, so good. <coughs> good job, bro. Mashallah. You said three years here. Really? Uh, three years here. Yeah. Yeah. How was it uh, over COVID? Covid? No. Yeah. No, like uh, Covid, slow business. Yeah. Yeah. Only locals. Yeah. Okay. But now foreigners as well.
Can you do the eyebrow slip? This one. Thank you. This is very good, bro. It looks very good. Very smart. Okay, cut. Fantastic. That was very, very good one. Thank Nicely you. done. <laughs> How much is that? 100 baht. 100? Yeah. There you go, bro. You take 200. Oh, thank you very much. Ciao. Hello, the boys. <laughs> very good. Cut one, cut one. Bye. Bye. See you later. That's sick, man. You know, one thing I noticed, if you can rewind the video if you want to verify this, but literally, he didn't take his eyes off my hair for a second, man. Like, usually, I, the traffic's kind of loud, so I'm not sure you'll hear me, but usually, like, the barbers that I've been to in the UK, <laughs> like, it's a half an hour cut for five minutes. They're, like, chatting to the other barber. They're hitting the vape. They're, like, checking their phone, replying to a call. Like, yeah, 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 bro. <laughs> like, like, he had eye contact with my hair, man. Like he was focused, he was mindful, bro. Bro probably meditates. <laughs> I'm really impressed by that. Let's see that eyebrow slip. Yeah, fucking peng, bro. Sick. <laughs> Dude, I kept on getting like flashbacks when I was inside there of like what it would be like when I was getting a haircut when I was young. Because I was always like so anxious. Like, first, when I was young, like when I was a child, the problem I had was like my, my head and my neck was like very, very ticklish. And so when I would get a haircut, it's like I'd start squirming and like you know, laughing and stuff, but it would be like very, very hard to like sit still and get a haircut. That wasn't too bad. But then when I turned into like late teens, early adult, I was like so, um, what's the word? So like, you know, fixated, obsessive over my hair. I wanted it like a particular, very, very particular style. So I remember that every haircut I would go to, I would always be quite anxious and it would always be like quite a a big deal for me to go you know i'd go weeks without it because i was always scared oh the barber's gonna mess it up and everything so i just went into this shop didn't even like didn't speak to the guy before and you saw me on the video and um <laughs> i just sit down and he just starts cutting it without me even giving like any instructions of what i want but it's fucking sick man and i love that i have this personality now where i don't have to like constantly think to myself oh, i want it exactly like this i think being a youtuber because i have a main channel that has like 450k subscribers and we've got like eight video editors having those video editors and like not you know constantly looking over their shoulders just literally sending them my video like they, i don't give them instructions i just kind of tell them like yep like here's the video just do what you think is best i think that has really trained me now to like not have so, like certain expectations for people who like you know do things for, like do services for you and instead just have this mindset of like instead of it being okay i want it exactly like this have this mindset this person has so much more experience than you. Let them take you where they think you should go. Does that make sense? So I'm about to hop on a bike now and go uh, find my friend. I think he's in a cafe, so he'll be nearby. I'd love to show you like me on a motorbike as well, but it's a bit dangerous. So like whilst recording, whilst on it, so I'm not gonna do that, but yeah, man. Feeling good, looking fresh, over and out. Like, these mobile bikes are sick. I haven't recorded any videos since I've got here. Just been taking some time to like think through a lot of the um, visionary parts of like the work that we do here. Cause that's, you know, it's weird. Like I'm technically a YouTuber, but like my main sort of job role is just kind of like thinking, reading, being introspective and just getting ideas. 
Så er det gør. Thank you. Big man. Yeah, the view. Hey, what's up, boys? No bro, getting some work done. Uh, shallow work right now. Just chilling in the fucking cafe. It's good vibes, man. Really good vibes here. But yeah, it's, it's great vibes here, man. It's like, she's a wonderful lady. Um, it's like a small business we're supporting. And how's your day been? Yeah, decent, man. So I just got the haircut. Nice, bro. Looking good. Clean with the isolate as well. You need to go get an isolate, bro. Bro, I don't know. I don't know. Should Let's... the be get an isolate? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I might do. I might do eventually. What's this? Yo, the isolate looks good, bro. I rate it on you. I'm gonna start editing these videos a little bit so I can start like showing you more of like the day-to-day -day life that we're living here because it's pretty sick, man. And it's normal. For all like the guys who are watching this who came from like my main channel for self-improvement, it's like this is what two years of self-improvement can get you. Like I was literally on the same journey as you are. I literally just started being a bit more productive, stopped wasting time on like video games and porn and stuff. And like I'm two years in and now I have a business that lets me live like this. This was my ultimate like dream lifestyle. I literally like set the plan for this like two years ago, bro. That's beautiful, bro. Fucking yeah, man. And we're just on day three right now. Literally. Man. Feels like a like two weeks almost. It does because so much has happened, doesn't it? Yeah. So many experiences. We tried a uh, freestyle rap <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> it's fun as fuck. <laughs> yeah, we, we're uh, rappers right now. On the way. <laughs> on the way to being rap stars. Yo, you're fucking attractive as fuck, bro. Bro, I gotta lose some weight. Muscle, and, then, and then the jawline's gonna pop out. Literally, and then yeah. it's gonna be exciting. Wheat Waffles <laughs> rated him an 8 out of 10. Like, <laughs> I think it's like one of the highest ratings that he gives. It's yeah. Marshall, this is Chad Freak. <laughs> <laughs> you said I looked like your dad when he was younger. Yeah, yeah. no, you do, you do. Yeah. You gotta I'm show gonna find you a picture of him. Yeah, he yeah. looks like my dad when uh, my dad was like our age. I'm gonna find that picture of him, bro. He looks like a fucking like Chad Freak. <laughs> <laughs> Chad Freak light. We got like, we got the jawline in our family. So. Yeah, bro. I think okay. So same way with eyebrow slit. What do you boys think about Hamza shaving? Because I think this guy has a really good jawline. I think that once this guy shaves, it's gonna pop out, look really nice. Shave, bro. Shave all. I, I, shave, I think you should shave. Or, I think you should stubble. just shave, bro. You think so? Yeah. Stubble would be good too. Stubble would be good too. But I think you should just go clean shave. My opinion. What do you guys think? My jawline is sharp as fuck. That's what I'm saying, that. bro. It pops out. Bro, beard is just for people that don't have jawlines, bro. Like you. <laughs> so the last time I clean shaved. I also had like a bald head as well, so it was just a bad look. It was like an alien looking motherfucker. But like, yeah. this time I've got hair, I'm getting leaner and leaner as well. Yeah, I might do it, bro. All right, I mean, the boys are doing work. I'm doing like introspective journaling about the movement going forward or for the main channel, for the sort of direction of wanting to help like millions of young men. We're transferring back to more of like a, um, sort of purposeful videos now because we, we went away from that for a while and we were just doing videos which were just you know trying to get like high retention on youtube and everything and literally myself all of my editors all of my team we felt quite demotivated and quite like um like pretty burnt out with that like we weren't enjoying it the videos weren't performing as well as we thought they would you know they were like overstimulated edited and everything and so what we've done is we've gone back like you'll see the transition soon, but we're going back to more of like the first man simple videos where it's just talking head where I can just come onto the camera. Oh, this is for the main channel, right? I can come onto the camera for 10, 15, 20 minutes and literally just go in on like a certain subject. So it's going to be a lot less edited. There's still going to be a Jeffrey and Adonis intro for like a minute, which is going to be kind of fun and, you know, memes and, and sort of like, you know, funny sound effects and all this shit. So for like the first minute, it's kind of like humorous. And then after that, okay, we get serious. You and I are going to like have a full conversation about something that's about like self-improvement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> I was recording outside and she was like, oh no, like my laundry is in the way. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna pay for my drink as well. This place is so nice, man. It's like this woman's like small business here. I think, um, how much I pay? Um, my one, Maka. You, you, 45 I'll pay. Me, uh, 95 baht. 95 baht. You want to add that small Yeah. I got you as well. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. 95 baht. 
140 baht. Can you 500? Thank you. This is a new business. New business here. <laughs> I do a YouTube video. YouTube, you know? I do, do, do make no makeup. Why, YouTube? I'm busy. I'm busy. I have uh, order it too. too. Yeah. <laughs> you do uh, Facebook. <laughs> I do No, no, it's okay. No, only I don't make up. No, no you look you good. Look beautiful. beautiful. No, <laughs> She's like, no, I don't look beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next time we come, then you, me and you on the video. <laughs> Very beautiful. Crab. Thank you, crab. <laughs> Tomorrow, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so she's saying like tomorrow come again. She'll wear makeup and then she wants to come onto the video. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> That's adorable man. <sighs> See we'll end it there boys. Hope you have a good day.